So, gotta go to the gym. Go to the gym? No. Better make my way to the gym. I need to find what's going on. Wapa. There. Hey, come on. That's not what you're saying. You're saying, God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. How are you going to say it like that? It's edgy. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. It, it, I love the joke of jail is better than insert place here. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Uh, shut up, Monica. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? Alright, Kaiba, calm down. They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Thanks, Goku. Shit. Well, hell. I'm sorry he's not saying fuck. Hey, you can't like... put too many fucks. Uh, with this guy, I'm sure there could be more. It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over hey, with. Damn it. Hey, where is whoever co- Oh, okay, bye. What are you thinking? What, what? what? Well, then. I just shall go, all right. <laughs> That's you. Let's stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for some more tutorial action. Wow, use the tab key to observe the room. Here. Observing will display with people and objects you can interact with. Star for the late notice. I already knew this. Yeah, but it's because I told you. Yeah. Weird TV screen. School has a lot of TVs. It couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcast, could they? Um, what's up, ladies? What do you think is going on? This is the mysterious one that has no I doesn't know why he's here. Oh, imagine stay calm, or maybe I'm just imagining it. It's true. There are all the other students. Why are we the only ones here? This is bad. Totally getting a bad vibe right now. Yo, vibe check. Ayo, vibe check. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. A dead body or something. It does look like the entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Told you. It's totally normal. Entrance ceremony stuff. I don't know about that. Just emphasize how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone oh. here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Oh no. Oh snap. The ah, baby. It's a panda. That's not a panda. I know. A teddy bear? Peter Griffin? I'm not a teddy bear. You're a yes, bear that's teddy. actually Peter Griffin, Patrick. Yes. I am Lois. I'm killing students. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 Monacuba Peter. And I am this school's headmaster. Hey Lois, remember that time I was Monacuma? It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was what I was seeing. It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? Let's head back and talk. Aww. Calm down. I'm, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey. Come Told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. Yeah, come on now. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. <laughs> God, fuck off, my guy. Yeah, he's uh, he's great. <laughs> Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. The remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. But do not make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. I don't get it. Wow. 
And really, you are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we really must hurry and get started. Fun. Giving up already? Or the stupid bear puns? Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, uh, okay, so... He has abandoned the gap. Who doesn't like yes. puns? Thank you. Everyone, stand at attention and bow, and good morning. Good morning! Seto Kaiba! Thank you, Taka. You don't have to say it back. Hey, he's, he's being respectful. Now then, let us commence with the, the, a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about your, the, your school life here. We'll be like, now, uh, make no mistake, you few students, so full of potential, represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Uh huh? And now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one. Too done, bad. Done. 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 In other words, you'll be able. You'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. Uh, what? Until the day we die. Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah. What the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? True. I'm not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that. You can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. And just uh, for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again, Lois. Cut off. So all those metal plates all over the school? They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're for. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free, feel free to live out your life here with a reckless hey, abandon. Come on. come on, what the hell is that? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind all this. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you! Yeah, damn you. This isn't funny anymore. Feel you keep saying this is a lie or a joke. Bunch of skeptics, all what of you. you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. I mean, I don't think that's it. I think it's more so like... It's not cool to be trapped somewhere like you don't want to be. Why don't you want to be here? Why not? Exactly, why not? Why not be trapped here forever? Why not uh, just live here? Because I would like to, you know, walk outside, have fresh air. Maybe. When that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Hey, nah, Most fam. Unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. Yes? Come on now, what's the matter with all of you? You had your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to hey. leave? Yeah, you're kind of being an asshole, Pat. Yeah, totally. I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Die! Actually? A special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, you rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my student, is the graduation clause. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know. One person were to murder another. <laughs> murder? Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How do you how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome of the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spot. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As someone as soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juice flowing. Beats the heck out of human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme. Extreme. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is, it's. Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. 
we know what it means. Yeah, thanks, Ash. Catch him. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? <laughs> Why does he have to say that every fucking time? That's how he goes. Say what? Also, he looks like a fucking beaver. Hey, come on, man. That's just rude. You're right. Beavers don't deserve that. Yeah. Blabbering. Oh, okay. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! Okay. Sorry. You guys just don't get it. Do you? That was a quick cutscene. Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over again. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? You can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? And you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? Right? Yeah, because, I mean, you know this is all some tricking, all right? So, uh, like, dude, shit the hell out of me. Get out of my way. Oh, no. Shoving here aside. Mondo placed himself in front of Makua. Blah, 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 blah. You're fucking dead. Oh, shit. He said fuck. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? Ooh. Oh! Yo, got him! Monokuma's a fucking shit talker. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Fuck! Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew out my- Oh my god! Oh shit! I thought it was Target! Gotcha, you little piece of shit! <gasps> I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Oh shit. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! <gasps> oh, hold on, that's a hey, cell phone. Dammit. Oh, smart ass comeback this time. Piece of shit! Watch out! Yeah, I like this song. Yeah. 106.1 mm -hmm. BLI. Oh no, it's gonna explode! <laughs> so the murder we have to solve is the murder of Monokuma. Okay. Who killed Monokuma? <laughs> that sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. Gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life. <laughs> real life. You never seen anything like it. But you know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? I told you my teddy bear, my Nakumo. Oh god no. Uh? Uh? Damn you. You son of a bitch, damn you. You used to try to kill me just now. Well, yes. I was serious about trying to kill you. We did violate all the school regulations after all. I let you off with a warning this time. But you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. So, does that mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Monokumo has been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Monokuma Army! Plus, don't forget the surveillance camera is installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Huh? That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyless, your joyous, joyless, whatever, entry into our school, I have a little something for you. The sp official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? Super as you, cool. As you can see, it's probably digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Yeah, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to the healthy to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, uh, excuse me, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. 
contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you revive them thoroughly. Review them thoroughly, <laughs> whatever. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing! Shing. Rules restricted. R rules restricted, yes. But they also protect. Society, for example, would be in utter chaos without laws. Look, he's wearing a crown. Oh my god, and Mr. Krabs. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place of violations like blowing up and killing you. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life. And see ya, boink. And with that, he was gone. Leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? 10 out of 10. I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Kill? What just happened? We need to calm down. Alright, mysterious girl. We essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, once you get out of here alive, we have to kill someone. But killing someone that's Moira. <laughs> he sounds like that fucking really annoying like Minecraft YouTuber, like when he fucking gets killed by someone. And you just hear him scream like, <laughs> "We were abducted out of nowhere and stopped into this place." Mental He's fucking school. Peter Griffin. <laughs> Instead of the balls being on his chin, it's on his, under his fucking nose. <laughs> and now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is. I hate him. Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is. Words. Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Ugh. I mean, yeah, like. I'm keeping quiet myself up to run at the others. They all, started, they all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I can almost taste their hostility. Oh, this is all of them, right? Yeah, this is everyone. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monk will laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. Were we forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. And that's the end of the game. Oh, sorry. Drop a lot of ketchup everywhere. Oh, the end. All right, cool. Oh, that was a good game. 15 students alive. All right. Wonder how long that's going to last. Well, to be continued. All right, oh, it's a good game. Yeah, um, Danganronpa Two nice. coming out. Uh, um, my favorite character. It's gotta be Peter Griffin. <laughs> it's Peter Griffin. Yeah. I'll let this play. Why not? It'll give me a sneak peek of what to expect. Whoa! That's you, the tag. normal boy. Yu Gi Moto. Joey Wheeler. Alright, let's just fucking... I thought that was going to be the fucking Pokemon-like theme. Dun, 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 dun. You beat the Pokemon League. Congratulations. You received the school crest present. And did the pro law save this motherfucker. From zero to hero. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze, and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. Gulp, I'm gonna drink water. I could feel a oh, cool, I splashed water all over myself. Good. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly make its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter one. To survive. Daily life. Uh, daily life of Peter Griffin. <laughs> but for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to piece, pierce it was her sharp words. 
So, what are you gonna what are you gonna do now? Hey. Hey. Stand hey. around glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. And it helped pull us all back to reality. R right, she's right. Listen to me. Alright, I'm listening. Dude, we're waiting. Yeah, we're waiting. All Come right, on. Whatever. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <laughs> just forget the simple fact. I cannot forgive myself. I'm you so hear me? Please, someone hit me. I cannot forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Yell about it. You have time to do something about it. However. <laughs> Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot to look for way out duh. We told you to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But but, 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 but before we do all that, maybe we should take a little look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Matakuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. This is fine, true. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are. Something like that might happen again. Fuck. Shit. All right. Fine. Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Peter Griffin, more like Family Guy, funny moment. Yeah, it's me. That, that that that's my name. So just like Monokumo said, the owner's name should have been on like Santa. From the main menu that popped up, I flew the school regulations icon. Itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, yes, the rules being imposed on it. Yeah, we know. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Alright, suspend me. Do it, expel me. See what happens. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Oops. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. So just don't break any of those rules and you'll be fine. Totally. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's Stop face. Fucking around. Fucking around. Blah, 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 blah. You fucking snakehead, you idiot. This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are those? I'm not going to let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However. However. <laughs> God, I wish there was an option to stop him from talking. Never. But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Okay. Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it You grew up with your older brother pounding you? Jeez. Gross. So what? I mean, a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's Piece so what? Shit. So I can't afford to die in here. None of that made much sense to me, but you were saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? I mean, That's it makes true. perfect sense. He made a bunch of promises to people or things or whatever before he went to the school. And he intends to keep those promises so he doesn't want to die or else he won't be able to fulfill those promises. It makes a lot of sense. What things are you making promises to, Pat? I mean, I, don't, I have no idea what he's making promises to. Huh, I guess you're right. I have a question. Regulation number six. What do you think it means exactly? Anyone kills a student becomes blackened. Yeah. Talk about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it's you. But why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules of they've been explained to us. D don't worry about someone trying to kill you and get away with it. It's fine! Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> Jabbing me. Break. 
like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all the silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. Putting exactly where we are and a way out. And what about food you supplies? Understand? You understand? There are tons of questions we need answers. Let's do it! Damn straight. Let's start looking around. I'll be going alone. Wow, okay. It's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it much easier for them? Yes! That way, if we're all together, and someone does happen to kill someone, we'll all know who it is. This guy isn't that smart. Uh, hold on a second. That would never... Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rules make clear to you. Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm smart because I want to be by myself, so if I'm murdered, no one will know who killed me. He doesn't like you. Uh, um... This guy's a moron. Hm. So I'm still behind the corner of the Just hold on. Just hold on. I can't even let you run off and do whatever you want. Out of my way, Plankton. <laughs> what? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. Oh, he's one of those fuckers. So minuscule, so ins ins insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. Gonna kick your ass. What? Stop it, we shouldn't fight. The fuck you just say? You're some kind of goody goody little bitch. Throw down. Who do you think you are? Talking to me like that. You think you're my fucking dad or something? Yes, I do. You're grounded. You son of a bitch. He did it. He said the thing. He said fuck you. Ow. <laughs> he punched me. Yeah, I kind of figured. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there on my face. Almost like we're in a video game. One second, I was standing there. The next, I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuse. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised to let something concerned as this, but I just lost shot of a sense of reality. That was just my last thought. Before I finally cut out completely... I finally opened my eyes again. What I saw was... Oh, my room. That's so cool. Time unknown. Interesting. N bleh. Where am I? As if it become part of a daily routine. I woke up in another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You know, I have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check out the variety of information as you play. There's an F1 key. You can use it to check the school regulations. and character in front of the core card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load the game. Blah, blah, blah. Press the F2 key to review the transcript. This records all permanent info, so use it to review comments from everyone involved. Interest. What the fuck is this? Yeah, what, Paper what towels, towels, bro. That's a paint. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Well, oh my god, keys. Must be the key to the room. My name is written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? Better hang on to it for now. Wapa. We're gonna be the bathroom. Why is the bathroom door locked? Why? That's what you get. You're not allowed to go to the bathroom. Curses. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Look in the drawer. I think that's the last thing. You can look oh, didn't know there was a. Did we look in the drawer? Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Wow, yeah. Must be brand new. It's still the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it there. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be my bedroom. Dun dun dun. It was very obvious. The second that we woke up, it was pretty obvious. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. That answers my question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Let's fucking do it. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh yeah. Bup, 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 bup. Rushed out of the room to meet up with the others. But there was someone waiting for me. It was like something out of an old TV show. Peter Griffin. Ah! Uh! Oops, panty shot. Oh, Sayaka? <laughs> Sorry. Are oh. you okay? Uh, 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 Peter Griffin. Girl! I hope you're okay. Woman. 
sorry about that. Woman, I, I hit woman, she unground. She had an embarrassment smile on her face. That's not a smile, it's like a regular face. Are you okay? Are you hurt? You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. But are you okay? If I mean, I want Mondo to hit you. Sure, I got knocked out right in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. I mean, not really. You like... Telling a guy to calm down is not losing your cool. If anything, Mono lost his cool. I'm fine, nothing wrong here. Just my internal organs. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um. Actually, I came to get you. Uh, 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 what? what? <laughs> Woman, come to get me? <laughs> We're dating now. Listen. Oh, you're fitting better. I was hoping you can come to the dining hall. The dining Let's hall? See. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go do their own thing. But said it would be more effective when we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found. Does that mean it's almost time to get back together? That's what's going on. Then of course I'll That's go with good. you. Huh? Oh my gosh, she's happy. Oh, she's gone. Alright, bye. She said she'll meet you at the dining hall. I thought she was going with me. Fucking god damn it, Mondo. Let me knock on this door. Hey Mondo, let's have a rematch, you and me. No, oh, it's not how it works. Oh, bullshit. Bath. <gasps> yum yum. <laughs> Can I leave? This is where the classroom and stuff are. I don't have any reason to go the way right now. I should be with them in the dining hall. What if I don't want to? What if I don't Laundry. Everyone's meeting with the dining hall. God damn it. Please. <laughs> this must be the dormitory dining um. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Or, I guess it's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. I mean, it's nice that, like, you know... Rather be trapped somewhere clean than somewhere yeah, dirty. Yeah, somewhere like, super dirty. That's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here now. <laughs> Let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm so- Oh yeah, she's like- I'm kidding. Like, she's saying that, but like... All of a sudden, I know. But here comes the tutorial. Oh god, again? Reaction. You're gonna be talking this woman. Yeah, while you're talking to her. Purple words are going to appear. Reactions? Just in case, let me explain. When purple words are up, if you press the right mouse button, you go into reaction. Stop doing it! Oh. Just stop! At this point, you can use the WASD button to make a selection and then left mouse button to confirm it. When it comes to dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about and look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction, okay? Do your best to enjoy important school life. You go on ahead and use it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps moving forward. Got any food here, huh? Oh my god, she's flat! Whoa! Wapa! Hey, um... By the way, Lakota, what is it? Well, it's just... Now this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing. Self-introduction. Um, kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. I'm just not really curious. Hey, um, um. Yeah. What'd you want to ask me, Makoto? Did you happen to go to Black Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? I mean, there were only two classes, so yeah, actually, I was. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do you remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me. A woman! We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. 
Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. I went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there are lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to never really stand out. I'm average of everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Doctor? Uh, a woman is insulting me. I'm going to call her a bitch. <laughs> Do it. Bitch. Started giggling even louder. Why are you making fun of me? That somehow mysterious smile of hers has made my heart grow calmer. Aww. Her smile was as nice. Oh, wow. Okay, That's Makoto. Good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. All oh, that's sweet. Oh my gosh, wow, our date is tomorrow. Nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. What? H how? Thank you for saying okay. that. Thank you for helping me out. I'm going to kiss your head. Become your ultimate assistant. My assistant? <laughs> I'm your assistant now. This is just getting weird. She wants to be your assistant, this man. This is just getting weird, man. Why what why are people weird? I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. Oh my god, then we're going to date and go to TGI Fridays together. She says things like that, it it just gets me pumped up. Whoa, calm down, Makoto. I wanna fuck. Which is nice, but still, everyone else is still late. Who cares about everyone else, Makoto? Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. You're totally not up there on top of the fucking board. Um. Hmm. This. Clock. This is a clock. This is one of the monitors. Wow. Ugh. Lapa. So what time is it right now? It's seven o'clock at night. Uh, um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. Yeah? What about it? Th there's a window. Okay. Why don't you look out the window at first, huh? Before you look at the time. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. They're all dead! I'm okay with that. Almost like he time. Almost like he timed it. Tucker threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Wow. Kaiba! So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. Alright, fuck off, guy. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Relax. <sighs> I challenge you to a duel! <laughs> it's a bit much, don't you think? Oh, she, he's gonna punch her. This game's showing after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered into the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Okay. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Sir. Wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Isn't there 15 people? Yeah, someone's talking about? someone's missing. The, the mysterious girl. <sighs> hmm. What about it? She's not here. <coughs> <coughs> Damn, Tim Allen. She was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? Even the fucking douche kid that said he'd go on by himself showed up, so this is weird. Huh? Everyone just shook their head. Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyogo shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed. Yes, we know. You must kill someone. <laughs> Rest is up to you. Thanks for the flashback. Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Mm -hmm. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late. Like, this is the first day of school. I'm going to challenge you to a duel. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone who she would. She would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. You're becoming a real jackass right now, you know that, Kaiba? But what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, you hear me? Um... And Kodo, actually, first of all... I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Good idea. Okay, let's do that. Haha, <laughs> you know. You know what's up? I feel like I really have become your per- 
This is getting so weird. Why? 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 She just wants to be your assistant. This is so weird and uncomfortable. <laughs> May not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. You've already done so much as my assistant. Oh, man. That's just... That's just weird. All right. Douche, let's talk to you. You can't talk to anyone. You have to talk to Sai. You have to go through Sayaka. Oh. Um. So, since you've been in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's been investigating different. Oh. Alright. I want to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. Unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. It's all from me. I mean, that's fair. It's progress. It's, it's not progress, but it's progress of no progress. That's true. Right, understood. Um You yeah. see. Hmm. I spent some time looking around the dormitory hey. and there I made a discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. <laughs> And each room key was attached to the keychain <coughs> with the owner's name, which confirms the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. Yeah, no, duh. Uh, yeah, we found uh, the room totally soundproof. Um. Next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Well, each room also had. How'd they know that it was soundproof? Did they test it? Yeah. Eh, that's fair. It was a bathroom, which could also lock. It looked like there were only locks in the bathrooms in the girls' dorm. Nah, that's not true. I checked on my bathroom door before it seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, Am I on. a girl? Got a bunch of rooms already. Rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're going to be here a while. Get down and listen. Alright. Patrick, please. He's not saying anything. I'm trying to listen. He said so. Well, better to have that than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving with wild animals. I can tell you had to report. You can, not Mr. Ponder's student. Damn, oh, they're gonna fuck by the end of this. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Uh, you see. Yeah. On their own, so do Kyoko. Looks like. They all went together. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows in you know, the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those material plates to come off. What happened was nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a what little bit. Do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This is sucks. Bad, 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 bad. It really sucks, 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 sucks. It sucks, sucks. Oh God. What the hell are we gonna Wait, do? God damn. Calm down. Come on. You're trying to make me nervous. Okay. Um. Um. Same thing for those people. Mm. We thought maybe we could find somebody to communicate with the outside so we were looking all over. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something with a giant hunk of metal. But even what? with Sakura and me both, we, would, we couldn't be. We, it, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. Shit. It was hard as like yes, metal. Indeed. Genius. I can clearly tell Hodo's here for his master of intellect. <sighs> anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, Mondo, whatever. Hodo, I don't fucking care. It's not gonna be through here. This guy punched me. I don't care if I spelled his name wrong. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. Thanks, Ash. So then. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there are a set of stairs leading to another floor. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we were only able to switch the first However. floor. We could further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. If that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. True, true. Can't wait for this fat ass to talk. You see. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. 
Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Fortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the type to go running around to school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, what you're thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. <sighs> if you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I want to go anywhere the dirt. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mine is as thin as your body, you make me sick to my stomach. Bruh, you're just as skinny as her. I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful? Hey, come on. Alright, guys, everyone calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, it sounds like you two are close now if you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on. Hey, um... That's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Okay. That's good. Oh. Let's be worried about food, at least, I thought. But... Ah, shut up. He likes food. So do I, but you don't see me complaining. Well, you're not trapped in a school. Fair. I am trapped in this game, though. That's fair. You can just eat sesame seeds or something. What am I, a parakeet? Ooh. Okay, now, now, now his balls are on his, are his eyes. The fuck is that? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. H how do we know that? At least that's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. Did he? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. He told me that and disappeared again. He was so fast, I couldn't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote, con remote control. A weaponized toy that can just appear out of nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? Either. He's just really, he's like, we can eat human beings. That's not also, what he's talking about. Did you hear his little... <laughs> like, fucking hell. Come on, man. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk Actually. dude. I like this, a good kind of drunk dude. Ooh. Stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could just die any second. Shit. Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... Uh-oh. You're all spending an awful lot of time young and carrying on. <gasps> do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? You! You! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Just said she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? Where'd you find this? Uh, yeah, it kind of does matter where you found it. What the heck? Yeah, you're really freaking us out right now. Oh, important. Never mind that. What's it mean? Just look at it. The building we're in right now, it's laid out precisely the way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what we're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. In terms of construction, yes, but it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was these over the first um, floor. But then, this really is Heaps Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid isn't even possible. This is where the country's future leaders are supposed to come and learn? But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Uh, hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this. You know, negative. No! <laughs> Come on, you're being a Debbie Downer, Pat. Yeah, how dare I try to figure out what's going on? Worried? What's that I'd be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I've... What, this happens to you all the time? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it'll work. It's your problem. Yeah, why are you laughing? I'm just happy, that's all. It seems splitting up and investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening and looking around was a total waste of time? We didn't find a way out. Didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. It's not crystal clear to you what's going on. You okay with this? It is perfectly obvious. We have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. Huh. <laughs> you have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? 
It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Don't even joke about that. I don't think he's joking. Everyone just calm down. Please, we need to stop and think about what to do from here. There's got to be something we can do. All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. All right, Celeste. Live here. I think we should just accept it. Do you understand? Do you understand a lack of survivability? Survival is not based on who... Is the strongest or the smartest? It comes out who can adapt. Really? As someone who can come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. Oh, okay. Oh, mm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits, so excess caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punishable. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. <laughs> what do you mean? Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. <laughs> are you huh. okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. Mm -hmm. We will all be afraid someone's might someone might try and come kill us. What? If you had to worry about the night after night for who knows how long, but we were standing no time. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as kind of preventative measure. Mm -hmm. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to what follow. What do? I would assume mean, but I guess I can agree. It's like a little goth Lolita said. But that's something like that. We're all just gonna self-destruct. She's not saying anything, whatever. On behalf of all the men here, I could tell. Wow, thanks for speaking for all of us. You're welcome. Fine. So everyone is in agreement then. And if you will excuse me. Wait, what? Where are you going? It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. It's like 7 p.m. Moving with the pure elegance. I'd say maybe it's around like 7.10 or 7.20 right now. Her behavior seems so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Mm. So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. I'll be spending the night. It looks like. Hmm. Adaptability. Mm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Mm. Uh, no. Well, let's say we call an element of today's meeting. It's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene uh, first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. This sucks. Yeah, it does. <sighs> it's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So in the end. Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we found anything. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Then we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. Yeah, we're we'll head to the private rooms. Are you ready to call it a day? Really, where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should the bathroom on top of her to bed. One of the girls' bathrooms should have locks on it, right? I mean, but mine did. Let's open it up. Still uh -huh, locked. you're a girl. Oh. Not locked. Oh, hi. Talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? Makoto Naegi, nice guy. This is super duper majorly bad. So bad, it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh -huh. Point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is because it's locked? The door is just doesn't fit? Um... You see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathroom and the boys' room don't have locks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, do you think? What, are girls not allowed to go to the bathroom? It's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door, and that's why I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? You just gotta turn the doorknob and lift up while you pull. Go ahead, give it a try. Oh, alright. Open right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't quite fit right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Ha! Ah. Wow. Anyways, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. But the boing? 
Booze up a book. All right. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Wow. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> All right. Once it gets nighttime, we all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. I'll stop mumbling to myself I collapse into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I'm just utterly exhausted. Honestly, like, bruh, this is just fucking crazy. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So now this is how the curtain closed on my first day of Peace Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realized it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Um, in your normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. When I think about what's coming up, it's full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideas. To you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! Alright, let's save this. A very interesting second episode. Um, now you just gotta live your life. Just now you just gotta live in this school forever. And to that I say, okay. Oh,